How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her... She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. It's got nothing on me. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Hey, definitely. Nick was about your age. First time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle. He lines up the shot just like I taught him and... Then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey, why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And, of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. Good lesson right there. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. Your carver, what do you do? Who's carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. So welcome back to the watcher, guys. This is the final part. Well, of, of this episode. We'll have to wait then till the next episode. Whenever that comes out. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. But don't worry. I have a surprise for you guys. I've uh, met your last light coming up uh, after this. Can I help? I got it. Running on max settings, it looks beautiful. Possibly the best looking game of this year. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now. Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself. Nick's right. This doesn't look good. No, it don't. But one of these folks might still be alive. And they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. 
You want to be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Nice. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. So do you know what the best thing about it is as well? I have it running at a very high f f FPS or frames per second. I didn't think my graphics card would be capable of it, but there you go. I'll show you in the next video whenever that is. <gasps> that dude had her backpack. So he was there the night Krista disappeared. What happened to you? You were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. No oh, shit. Pete, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. He got bitten. God damn it! Lurkers. And Clem knows. About ammo. Clem knows. Come this way, bitch. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of you. I'll cover you. All right. I'm, get I'm gonna set, go get save Pete here, because. If you save Pete, Nick still survives, whereas if you save Nick, Pete dies, so this way you get the best of both worlds. Just so you know. See, we saw Nick run off. He didn't get eaten, so he's presumably still alive until we see him die, so that's the best choice, I think. What are you gonna do? Someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four or five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. Well, that was interesting. I wonder who that could be. Okay, so let's see how we got on. We saved Krista. Yeah, that's good. Gave the dog some mercy. A lot of people agreed with that as well. Gave the dying man water. Well, what else could we have done? We accepted Nick's apology and we saved Pete. And half, it's pretty much half guaranteed. So, yeah. 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll talk to you guys later. So stay tuned for my walkthrough of Operation Metro or just Metro Last Light, which is gonna be awesome. It'll be coming up in the next few days, two weeks, and yeah. See you then. Bye.